What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the importance of supporting your melons. <laughs> Now, I've definitely giggled myself into a stomach ache because this whole video will be loaded with middle school humor, but it's very true. It is very important to support your melons. Now, we've had these uh, cantaloupes here growing on this trellis for, uh, for about uh, 60 to 65 days now, and they are just loaded with fruit, tons of fruit. And there is some fruit that have started ripening and have actually begun falling off the vine. Uh, you saw that, I think, one or two episodes ago um, where I picked my very first two cantaloupes we've ever grown successfully. And a lot of you had said, Luke, those probably fell off the vine prematurely. And that could have been true. You know, the, the wind could have came and, and knocked them off. But all that being said, all that considered, we took them inside, let them sit on the countertop for two days. They ripened up absolutely beautifully and they tasted incredible. They were so sweet. They were so juicy. They were definitely, in my opinion, probably ripe, but they might have you know, they could have used a couple more days on the vine um, to, to ripen up completely uh, naturally without, you know, kind of falling off prematurely, but they still tasted great. And uh, so I, you know, I didn't count that as a loss. It was definitely a victory in my opinion and definitely checked that box for the first successful melon that we've ever grown here in Michigan. I really wanted to talk about uh, supporting your melons because a lot of the melons we have growing now are not as low as the ones that were first ripe. Um, because those were the first ones that formed, they're gonna be lower on the plant. And since we're growing them up, all of the melons that came on later, you know, these ones just formed about two weeks ago, these are up super, super high. Well, I mean, that's beyond six feet right there. That's, I'm six foot four, and this right here is over my head, so this is like probably six foot five, six foot six. And so if, if uh, this melon gets nice and large and uh, weighs as big as some of my other ones and falls off the vine, like the other ones did, there's no way in the world it's gonna survive that fall without cracking and breaking. So these ones here are too small to support right now. They really don't need it. But there are a lot of other ones that are forming down that are even a foot and a half, two feet off the ground. It's very important you support them. And how we're gonna do that is with a simple trick using nylon stockings or nylon pantyhose. Now we got these uh, at the dollar store, very inexpensive. Uh, I think they were I think they were a dollar actually. Um, but I got a, a three pack and uh, so, uh, well, three pairs, so six total, and um, each nylon stocking can actually support two melons. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick how I do it. It's very, very simple. All you wanna do is just take a pair of scissors and just cut down, just cut down the, the nylon stocking because uh, you, want to, you wanna open it up. You wanna get it nice and, nice and wide because your melons are going to be, I mean, if you're growing a cantaloupe, uh, you know, watermelon, honeydew, things like that, um, you're looking at, on average, probably about two to three pounds per melon, some more, some less, but you, uh, you, know, you wanna have a nice wide hammock, is what it's called, to hold the melons. Um, I almost said bra, <laughs> but I have seen people using bras to support their cantaloupes. Um, as humorous as that sounds, but uh, you know, it, it, they do work. Um, get a nice a double D cup and uh, <laughs> it works. You can get them pretty inexpensively, especially at like garage sales or uh, at, like Goodwill, places like that. Um, any thrift shop, ha they will have them and they do work. So, um, but this is very inexpensive. I mean, for, for uh, like I said, for a buck, you're getting six and divide that by two, uh, you're getting 12, you can support 12 cantaloupe for a dollar. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer. Divide it in half, cut it like this. There we go. And so now we have our strips of nylon, which we can use to actually create a hammock to support our melons. And how we're gonna do that, I'm gonna bring you guys in close. We're basically just gonna attach it right to the trellis here and, and tie it up tight so that um, when they do get you know, really heavy, or if they do go undergo some strong winds, or let's say a bird lands on them, if they're just fringe ripening, they're not gonna fall off. And so, and if they do happen to fall off, they're gonna fall into support rather than fall onto the ground and crack and break and then be wasted. So uh, this is definitely a lifesaver. And, um, you know, we've uh, we've covered the topic of, of nylons at nauseum, but we've never had to use them 
to support melons. And so I figured I'd bring you guys out while I have to do mine anyways, make a good episode out of it. Got some absolutely gorgeous cantaloupes here. These are definitely pushing, uh, you know, probably two to almost three pounds. These are certainly getting to the point where they are ripe, but I do not want these falling off. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, find a, we're gonna find a cross, uh, kind of a cross beam with the, the trellis here. We're using cattle panels, so this makes it really easy. And we're just gonna tie a simple over under knot just to support, just to uh, kind of lock it in place. And then we're going to bring it around underneath the cantaloupe here, stretch it out. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to, we're going to find a place up high. It's very important you do this up high because um, because it's actually gonna lift the, it's gonna take the weight off of the stem here. All right. And it is really that simple. Just take, uh, just take a couple seconds here to um, adjust, the, adjust the hammock here so that you kind of stretch it over top as far as it goes. So kind of give it a little stretch, one, two. So it's really supporting uh, the, the melon from underneath because the, uh, the strips, they have a tendency to kind of cinch in and get really thin and narrow. So gonna give them a little pull and make sure that there's good coverage on the underside here. And that is really taking a lot of that weight off of the, uh, off the melon there. All right, let's do one more for you. All right, got this one here. It's a little smaller, but still far too, far too heavy and far too high up for its own good to not have any support. So we're just gonna come in here. Now this one's kind of tricky because it's on the very end of the trellis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna tie it up, up here first. I'm gonna tie it up, I'm gonna find a, a cross beam. That way, that way I can secure it. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm actually just kind of clipping out some of these leaves because it was getting uh, really difficult to to hang this hammock here with the location that it was in. So I'm not doing any harm to the plant. I'm just simply coming in here and, like I said, clipping some of this stuff out of the way. All right, so now that I've gotten this kind of cleaned up here, I can come in here. I can really see what I'm working with. Okay. Relieve the weight off the melon. Stretch the underside of the pantyhose to to support, and there we go. It's that simple, it's very, very easy. Stretch these around, there we go. That is perfect, look at that, isn't that cool? So there you go, it is that simple to support your melons. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned something new, and I really hope that you guys get out there and do this, because I can tell you for a fact that when those melons start ripening and the wind blows and birds land on them and things, they do fall off prematurely as ours did and they will. And you certainly don't want to lose them after, after uh, bathing them and taking care of them for as long as you have. You don't want to lose them. So take this little quick, uh, this little quick trick and uh, support your melons up. And just one quick little last note is that you don't have to use nylon pantyhose. If you don't have access to them or you, know, you don't want to go out and buy them, you can use any stretchy material that you can tie up to a, to a tie on point that's going to have nice good coverage underneath to support them. And uh, you can definitely, like I said, you can use any material that's going to do the job, but just get out there and support them because you don't want to lose them. Really quick, I did want to show you how many melons we had on these plants here. And then uh, I'll let you get out, take this into your garden and grow bigger, go home with it. All right, check it out. So check it out. We got the one we just did, the one underneath that, we got one down here, got the other one we did, coming around, we got another one there, another huge one right there. This thing is probably pushing almost four pounds, absolutely giant. And then we got over here, we've got one small one, another, another one. These are the green, the green flashed honeydews. We got another one called Kazaa. I absolutely love these. These are smaller, but they're just loaded. And then we've even got some more little ones forming there. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And uh, as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. 
We'll catch you later. See ya.